This is freaking hard. Screw hot body. I will wear a satchel when I go to the beach, and I will like it. And then, when it's time to take off the satchel, I'll lay flat. Because there ain't no roll when you're laying flat. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back into Lights Out Gaming. My name is Tabby. No. What's going on guys? In case you're new here, no. Okay, I guess I should just keep going because you're gonna need some material, so. I should start all over. What's going on guys? Welcome back into Lights Out Gaming. My name is Tabby, and in case you're new here, that introduction usually belongs to Mike. But for today, we are kind of doing something a little different, I guess. Um, I'm going to be just talking to you about something. I think the title for today should be called Tabby's Aimless Rambling. And I say that because, you know, I wasn't really sure what anybody would want to hear about, so it's really hard to think of something to talk about. Talking a little bit about me, um, but how it relates to something that I think we all should do. And that is being happy and being positive. Um, something about me is I am crazy. I don't really think it's that funny. I don't hear voices. I come up with really random things to say all the time. Yeet! Poop! I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but I'm freaking crazy. So anyways, I am generally a very happy person. Um, I'm positive and I'm a dreamer for sure. Something that used to differentiate Mike and I from each other was that he was such a realist and I was just, just this dreamer. Um, and I'm sure that, you know, I know the saying goes like opposites attract, but I don't necessarily think that Mike and I are opposites. We're different enough from each other that we have a good balance. Uh, we can, we agree and love most things. Um, and we have the same outlook on life. He is actually really positive too, if you haven't been able to tell. Um, but, and I think that positivity just like resonates between the two of us. Um, we feed off of that. We're always willing to give each other um, some crap because you just have to give somebody crap. I guess if I had to segue what I was gonna say today, it would be be happy and be healthy. And I say that because when you're healthy, you feel happy. Please comment below and tell me if you can agree that when you do something that is healthy, you feel better. And I don't want this to be like a, <clears throat> to turn into anything about, you know, how you're supposed to exercise and all that stuff, you know, how you're supposed to exercise and all that stuff, because it's not really about that. It's really easy for people to find themselves caught in a cycle, you know, and um, a model that I kind of live my life by, thoughts are things, and they really are. So if you're thinking some crazy things, poop, you can make those things real. Like for example, Mike has been talking about wanting to do Lights Out Gaming for as long as I can remember, and he's thought about it so much that I think he's finally convinced himself that it's a real possibility. And that's pretty much the key. If you are thinking about something com uh, often, chances are it's gonna happen. So even though that can be a great thing, like Lights Out Gaming, it can also be a really bad thing. So if you find that your thoughts up here are like telling you some crazy things, yeet! Um, you're probably living a pretty crazy life. Word of advice would be to really work on, make a conscious effort to think about what you're thinking about. Um, even if it goes as far as to writing them down. Not that I want to rewind, but I think that a really important quality for you to have is self-control. If you have self-control, you can control your thinking, you can control what you're doing. Have any of you ever woke up and you're just like, God, I don't want to get out of bed. That was me this morning. It instantly starts your day off on a negative note. If you have self-control, you are able to resist the urge to do certain things. So um, maybe if you have self-control, you can um, resist that chocolate cake or resist Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. Or it gives you that extra motivation that when you're not feeling like working out, you're doing it. Or instead of getting fast food, food, sleep, I love all of those things. Food, food seems to be a problem with me. Food. That, this, is a, this should be a trending topic. When you have self-control and you're able to demonstrate it, it's basically whatever you put your mind to, you can execute. And so um, self-control isn't something that's easily done though. That's the kicker. Self-control is something you have to develop. And in order to do that, it just, mean, it just starts with 
every day you're thinking, you're consciously aware of what you're thinking, and if there's something that you wanna do, you go after it. Like if you're right-handed, use your left hand to do certain things. That actually starts to train your brain to do things differently so that um, if you can get greater control over the left side of your brain or the left side of your body, then you're actually um, exercising your ability to control things that aren't as easy for you. If you um, are constantly swearing, poop, and you probably should work on that if you are, you can definitely do some things to um, you know, control your mouth. That is the hardest thing to control. Um, is the words that you say. The words can be really hurtful, but that's a whole other thing. So hopefully I'm making some sense. Um, some good things to develop. So one thing you wanna develop in order to be happier, that's what this should be. This could be T's guide to being happier. In order to be happy, you gotta start with one thing. You have to develop your self-control. Number two, become aware of what you're thinking. So if you are thinking just negative stuff, get it out of your brain, become aware of it. Okay, did I just take that thought and turn it into something that it shouldn't be? If you're an over analytical, if you are an over analytical thinker like I am, I take like, somehow I am managed to think of like a speck of dust and it turns into how I've got to clean the house and how I remember that one time that Mike didn't clean the house and oh my gosh, my, and I'm sure all of us can relate in some way. Self-control, exercise your self-control, get control of your thoughts and do what you want to do. Do things for yourself that are going to keep you healthy because like I mentioned earlier, when you're healthy, you're happy. Working out for me is something that is kind of new because again, I didn't have very much self-control. I'm trying to practice what I preach. I started to try to work out and I'm doing the Brazilian butt lift and it's freaking awesome. And I don't know if you should include that in this. Let's just omit that last part. I did it truthfully because I just wanted to look smoking hot. I did. I want to go out in my bikini this summer and I just want to be like, yeah, look in the mirror and feel comfortable moving forward. But what I noticed was once I started working out, um, that might have been my original motivation, but it was not enough to get me past like the first 20 minutes. Within the first 20 minutes, I was like, abort mission. I don't want to do this anymore. This is freaking hard. Screw a hot body. I will wear a satchel when I go to the beach and I will like it. And then when it's time to take off the satchel, I'll lay flat because there ain't no roll when you're laying flat. You know what I mean? But what keeps me going is that it makes me feel really good. Last night, I made eggs for dinner. Eggs, toast, and some sausage. And I'm really into like doing things organically, healthy, things like that. I love Taco Bell. It makes me, I'm in control of what my family eats. So it makes me feel good to know that I'm um, giving my family food that is good, what I consider good. Um, but I am really a big fan of like eating organic for the research that I've done. We were laying in the bed last, laying in bed last night and I said, you know, I love it when I eat eggs for dinner because we eat really late. Because I know tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm just gonna feel good. Mike agreed with me. Be happy, be healthy. Know that to be healthy, you do have to develop your self-control and you have to, gain control of your thoughts. Without those two things, I feel like you have a recipe for disaster. Okay guys, so Teb doesn't know this, but she recorded this video. I got home and I told her I would edit. I had no idea what the video was about. Uh, I got home and there was like literally 18 minutes. So I'm gonna cut the video off here and I'm gonna make a two part episode of this. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw so far, um, make sure to tune in next Tuesday. I'm going to post the other half of Tabby's interview with herself um, to the to the channel. Uh, I thought you guys would get a kick out of this. I, I thought it was something different that would spice things up a little bit. So um, we will see you guys uh, next Tuesday. Lights out.